Hello, hello, hello to all of my Tauruses. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a midweek special reading. Ooh, do you know how powerful you all are, Tauruses? I don't think some of you none understand how powerful you all are. I mean, like seriously, seriously powerful. Now, I want you to first of all check out my uh, my series that I just put out. I'm sorry, I put a video out, not a series, but I just put a video out on the number one, the number one one, the number one one one, and the number one one one, commonly known as eleven eleven, right? So I want you to understand how powerful we all are in this big scheme of things uh, called this matrix <laughs> that we're in right now. A lot of times life has a way of telling us that we're not significant, that we don't matter and all those things, but we all do, right? So what do we know about our Tauruses before I get into your special reading today? Because I'm going to incorporate some numerology in this as well, because each number carries their special significance, their vibration. Like there's no one else who has gone through the exact same um, journey that you've been through, Taurus. And that's that's your superpower, okay? Remember, life is about perspectives. But what do we know about our Tauruses, right? Tauruses, not only Tauruses are fixed signs. Fixed signs mean that you're very resistant to change and that you are perfectors and finishers. And that is going to work very, very well to your, it's going to work to your advantage, right? Everything that, and, and not only that, you all are and the feminine duality, right? And so what feminine duality means is that you have a very strong inner reserve, right? And that's extremely powerful. But what else do we know about our Tauruses? Tauruses are very logical. You are generous and trustworthy. You're very determined. You're very understanding. You're kind, organized, patient. I can go on and on and on about my Tauruses. Um, you all are very practical. You're devoted. You're responsible. You're stable. You're very reliable. And you're very patient, okay? That's very important for you to be patient with yourself. It's extremely important. You know, during all these planets being in retrograde, and of course not all of the planets are in retrograde, but we have a lot of planets in retrograde right now moving very at a slow pace and you have all this movement around you, all these people, people coming into your life, people exiting your life, all sorts of things, Taurus. But so let's get into your reading, okay? I want to find out what the cards have to say to you today. All right. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my Tauruses as it relates to all areas of their lives, specifically in the areas of money and um, wealth and everything else in between, every part of their lives, but specifically in that area of money and wealth. Okay, Taurus, let's get right into it. Let's get into it. Like I said, my Tauruses are fixed signs, and so, you know, you guys are going to hang in there. Um, a lot of times when other people walk away, you all are, you're hanging in there. Okay. All right. And let's see if we have any, we have some major arcanas here. We have the temperance card, the judgment card, and the strength card. Okay. So this is letting me know the obvious, you all are very strong people, right? So not, this is, none of this is by coincidence that I shuffle the cards and I pull these cards out. Very even tempered people, your temperance card, right? Very, very even tempered people. And then also, you all spend a lot of times looking over your life, right? Listen, <clears throat> when I talk about how powerful you are, I want, to, want you to understand exactly how powerful you are. A lot of times people forget how powerful they are because of what the world has told them. Maybe you had a childhood where people didn't explain to you just how special and unique you are. But I want to come on and reiterate how special and unique and powerful you are. You're a person of great strength. You are a very even-tempered person. And also, you're a person who frequently looks back at your life and just kind of sort of replays some things in your life. Judgment is not a bad thing unless you are vibrating at a, a low frequency, right? So you're judging your life. You're kind of sort of taking some, some uh, inventory of your life and thinking, okay, well, you know, I've been through a lot. I've just been through a whole lot in my life. And, um, but you know what? I'm at a better place right now. Whether your mindset has changed or whatever, but you're at a better place right now. And now you're more even killed, right? But you have, you are able to tap into that inner strength, right? <clears throat> so when I see these cups cards, I see two of cups and I see six of pentacles, right? Now we know the pentacles cards is attached to money. We know that. We also know that 
um, you have this, this is about your creativity, right? Your emotional expression. But we also know that there are people in your life that's ready and willing to share that, that those creative juices with you, right? So the, the cups cards, um, are attached to the water signs, the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So you could have that in your chart. Oh, but what I'm saying is that there's someone in that space, that element, that, that water element that's right there to talk to you where you can glean from them. They can glean from you. You all are exchanging these wonderful ideas, right? Very, very, very powerful. And also this person is also your support. And so, you know, when you go back through, this is a seven of cups is about temptation. When you go back through and you look back over your life and you kind of sort of, you know, like I said, take inventory and decide, hmm, you know, I don't want to make the same mistakes. Okay. That's in the past, right? So every moment is an opportunity to fix it and to get it right. Right, Taurus. And so, um, I don't want you to harshly judge yourself. I want you to be just like the people in this card, giving yourself a hand clap to say, you know what? I've gone through a lot and look at where I am right now. I'm here. I'm doing great, right? And start speaking that into yourself, regardless of what your circumstances are. Don't ever be tempted. See this snake right here? Don't ever be tempted to take yourself out by saying, I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't have this. Because remember, you're putting it out in the universe. And if you go back and look at my my um, recording that I posted today about the number one, you'll realize exactly how powerful you are, okay? So if nobody has ever told you that, you are extremely powerful. And that is just not lip service. That is the truth. You are extremely powerful, right? I also see you being a person who is very giving. And this is the Six of Pentacles. This is about money, right? Just being a very, very giving person. So if that's not happening right now, speak it into existence. That's the power you have, okay, Taurus? Speak it into existence. I know you all are very logical people, and it has to make sense to you. Like, you all the, the sign of make it make sense right? But it makes sense when you realize how powerful you are. You're vibrating at a high frequency. You say, you know what? I can call all of these things to me. So when I, when I hear people say negative things about their circumstance or their situation, they're actually putting that out into the universe saying, I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't have this and that. Start saying that, start saying that you have it, speak it into existence right now. So even if you're, and look at this, just as much as you're giving out gifts, you're receiving them in return. This is money. Okay. Let's pull some more cards. But just in case you don't know this right now, Taurus, your life is great. I'm telling you that right now. Keep repeating it to yourself. My life is great. I have full peace. You know, I have serenity. There's no drama in my life. I am wealthy. My money is working for me even while I'm asleep. I'm a giver. I'm also a receiver of wealth. Start speaking those things to yourself. Start saying those things to yourself because it is extremely power, extremely powerful. All right. So we also have, we have your card, the Hierophant card, right? You're a person that's very, very strong and stable. We also have the Empress card. You're a person that's even tempered, but you're also royalty and you have the will of fortune. Everything is in your favor. Speak it into existence. Okay. This is what I need you to do. Speak it into existence. You've also been investing in yourself. And this is where your money is. You've been investing a lot into yourself. And so the fruits of your labor are going to just be amazing. And then look at this, King of Pentacles. So the Pentacles card is showing me that what's dominating right here is the fact that you've been investing in yourself. Because you are a giver, people are freely re um, sending you stuff. So you're also receiving things as well. The King of Pentacles. Somebody who has a manifested abundance. This is you, okay? This is you, Taurus. You have manifested abundance. You're extremely powerful. So when we look at the three of swords and you look at like your, your past life of people, you know, harming you, you know, people close to you that have broken your heart, those people are gone. Speak it into existence. Those people have exited themselves out of your life. They have taken themselves out of your life. Not only are you not hurting anymore, you are completely healed. Speak it into existence. You're completely healed. 
you're completely healed and you're delivered from any hurt that anybody tried to do to you, okay? That is the power that you have, Taurus. I want you to know that, okay? Again, let's walk it through again. The wills are in your favor. When you look at the will of fortune is in your favor. When you look at these cards and you see how you're clapping for yourself, you're clapping because you know the wills are in your favor. The will of fortune is in your favor, okay? Money, money, money. That's why I specifically asked about money and wealth and everything else in between for your for this special reading. Also, you're a person that's perched on your throne. You know, this person is Empress Energy. You're perched on your throne. So you're you're chill. You're at this like this chill mode, like life is good. You know, I have this inner strength. You know, I am a very stable and organized person. Anybody who cut themselves out of my life, I don't care who they are and how close they are to me, they cut themselves out of an awesome opportunity, right? And so that's a good thing because allow them to cut themselves out of your life so that they can go on their own journey of recognizing that they too have the power to create their reality. Let's go into an Oracle card vision. This is all about your vision. This is all about your vision, seeing it. You have to see that you are powerful. You have to see it, have to, have to, have to see how powerful you are, Taurus. Because if you don't see how powerful you are, how do you expect anybody else to see how powerful you are? Now we have this number one here. Now go back and watch my video about the number one, the number one, one, the number one, 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 and the number one, 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 commonly known as 1111, right? So go back and see that. So the number one here lets you know just how powerful you are. This is how you have to visualize yourself exactly where you are, what I'm sharing with you in this card. This is how powerful this is. But then the number one plus six, the root of that is seven. We're talking about numerology. We're not talking about mathematics. The number seven is extremely powerful in itself um, because seven in itself lets me know that you have a really good memory. So that's why we were looking at this judgment card and you're like kind of replaying some things over in your mind and you're saying, yeah, I remember I went through this, I went through that, this happened, that happened, so on and so. But you're also having a lot of breakthroughs, a lot of premonition going on. This is the number seven, a lot of premonition going on, right? You're receiving a lot of visions, you know, so also with visions, you have to visualize yourself being there and watch how you speed up the process because you visualize yourself being this very wealthy person. You have to visualize it. That is the power that you have, Tauruses. So again, I don't care who spoke death into your life when you were younger. I don't care if everything around you looks like chaos. You're seeing it with your naked eye. I need you to open up your third eye and see it. That requires you to go deeper and realize how powerful you are. The number one in itself is extremely powerful because it aligns, right? it's grounded with the earth, with your earth sign, but it also goes straight up to the universe. Look at this. Straight up to the universe, this number one perfect alignment. When you're a perfect alignment with the universe, you can do anything you want to. That's what I need you to see, okay? Taurus's will of fortune is on your side. You're even kill, even tempered. There's lots and lots of money, lots of wealth in your future. And I'm not talking about riches. The difference between rich and wealth, being rich is you're working for your money, right? So you may have enough saved up where you can take off six months, 10 months, 11 months, a year, right? But eventually it's going to run out. When you're wealthy, your money is working for you. This is what I'm seeing here for you, that you have manifested wealth, multiple streams of income. Even when you go to sleep at night, your money is working for you. So you're living the life that you want to live and you're freely giving, giving wealth, but you're also receiving wealth. Like people are coming to you wanting to give you gifts. That's how powerful it is. You have to see it yourself, Taurus. You absolutely have to see it. You have to visualize it. You have to sit down and meditate and say, I am whatever it is you are. I am wealthy, not just rich. I am wealthy. I am a money magnet. It's all coming to me. Not only am I a money magnet, I can freely give out money to other people, sow into fertile soil, but I can also receive it. 
I'm open to receiving it because people are going to want to give it to me because that's what I call to me from the universe. That is what I have for you, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Yeah, I'm excited for you. You have to start seeing yourself as who you are, not who other people told you who you are. You are dynamic. You are powerful. You are on top. Right, Taurus? Okay. Have a great week. Bye.